Hey guys, welcome to another work in progress video for my RE100 eFreet. Again, this is the eFreet that we're doing as part of the YouTuber build off. Me and Justin at Justinius Builds, Simon at Gundam UK, Ed over at Double Gundam Reviews, Jetman025, and Strider Prime. So, all of these guys are all working on theirs. We're all at kind of various stages, mostly in either kind of the painting or nearing completion stages. I'm just starting painting because here in Korea it's been the wet season, so it's been really, really humid. Even now, it's still quite humid here especially in my room here with the lights on and stuff and uh, I've been running the dehumidifier in here so it's now down to about like 50 some percent so hopefully it should be okay. I do also have a uh, water trap on my compressor as well so with that I think it'll probably be okay. I'm also not going to finish all the painting now all this in one sitting but I'm just going to go over now here talk about a little bit what I'm going to do for the painting of this kit. Um, most everything now is primed except for a handful of parts, basically like the hands and the weapons are not yet uh, primed there, but everything else is. So here we've got everything all nice and gray. Uh, for the main color, instead of blue, I'm going to be using this color, which is just Mr. Color number 70, dark green. There. Uh, so that's going to be like the main color. For the parts that were red, uh, basically just the shoulder, uh, well just the shoulders and the main uh, front chest part, the top of the chest that was red, uh, like that bright orange red, I'm now going to make it uh, Mr. Color number 29 uh, whole red. I don't know if that's going to focus on that there for you guys. There we go. Uh, whole red. This is like a really like dark maroon red color. I really quite like uh, this color, so that'll be that. And then all the parts that were black, I'm going to use this uh, Nazca paint. So I'm going to be trying this out, so if any of you guys were interested in how this paint comes out, so maybe pay attention to this color. I'm going to try to get that focus there for you guys. This is the Nazca uh, Frost Matte Black. So it's just like a super dark gray, almost black color. So that'll be for the black parts. Uh, and then actually some of the white parts as well. I don't know. I'm, some of the parts I'm not painting. Like for example, the inside part of the uh, like thing on the side of the leg. It's supposed to be like a white trim around the outside. It's going to be black now instead or that really dark gray. And then uh, for all the mechanical parts, that's all the parts I'm going to be painting first. The stuff that was gray originally on the kit, I'm going to keep that gray. I'm going to also be using the uh, Nazca Mechanical Surfacer. So this is actually, so even though the parts are already surfaced, um, this can be used as a surfacer and a paint at the same time. So not only I think this will be kind of stronger than just using just regular paint because it's also meant to be a surfacer, um, but it's also the color that I want to use for that uh, inner frame anyway. So I'm just going to use that. It's the Nazca a mechanical surface are heavy, so this is the darker of the two different gray colors that you can get this in. So I'm going to be using that. And for the first time ever, I'm going to be trying to do um, uh, shading. I've never done that on a kit before, so I'm going to be trying it. I'm, I've seen it done many times, and I, I've, I understand the concept. And I think it's just about uh, getting some practice in, so I'm going to practice a little bit before starting. Not really a whole lot. I think I'm going to be fine. I don't really think it's all that complicated, not to sound arrogant or anything, but uh, I'm just going to give it a go and just see how it comes out, basically. Um, <clears throat> so under all of the gray stuff, all the gray and dark gray stuff, I'm just going to use black, uh, just flat black for under that. Under the green and the dark red, I'm going to use brown. It's actually uh, mahogany. Here, this is Mr. Color, what is that, number 42. Uh, mahogany It's just a dark brown color. Uh, I've used this color, I used this for the inner frame of the HG Yakadoga I painted last year, um, just in spray can form, but it's Mr. Color, it's the same color, um, just in spray can, now I'm just going to using it out of the airbrush, but that's the color I'm going to use for um, the pre-shading under the red and the green, so we'll see how that comes out. Uh, then I'm going to be doing some post-shading on those as well with just like lighter tones, so like you just do the pre-shading where you're just like going over the lines then you spray like the regular color just flat all over that and then like some post shading just add a little bit lighter tone of that color in just this like center of the panel so I'm going to be trying that out here and uh, you guys will see and just before anyone asks I'm not going to be doing any sort of airbrushing tutorials anytime soon I still have a lot to learn about airbrushing so please don't ask when I'm going to be doing any airbrush tutorials because I have no plans to do them anytime soon so uh, I've just got a little practice piece. I've been practicing on uh, some spoons and stuff already, but I'm just going to practice a little bit more here on this piece before I start depreciating all this gray stuff. All this other, the other parts, we'll put that to the side for now. And uh, don't forget the mask. Safety first.
All right, so all of that pre-shading is done. Here's just a look at that. I think for the most part, it came out pretty okay. Here's just another example here, the top of the head. Uh, yeah, for a first attempt, I think I'm pleased with that. I mean, I don't know how it's gonna look until we actually get the paint on. So the next thing I'm going to do is paint all the black parts, which are, again, not gonna be black. They're gonna be in that Nazca color, so that's just all these parts right here. You can't see that's off camera. There we go, maybe down there. Anyway, so uh, let's move on. Alright, so all that black is now done, and for anyone who is wondering about the quality of the Nazca paint or what this Nazca paint was like, it went on like butter, super smooth, really really nice, very very happy with this paint, uh, which, which is my first use of it. Uh, I didn't feel that this was quite dark enough for what I wanted it anyway, so I did add a little bit of uh, Ultimate Black, Gaia Notes Ultimate Black, uh, mixed with this to make this a little bit darker, so this color that you're going to see like on the finish kit is not going to be exactly this color, but uh, now I'm going to go in and go over and add some lighter tones. So I'm basically just going to add just a little bit of white to this, lighten it back up again, uh, and then, because uh, I still got quite a bit of that, I could just use this, just a normal color, because I didn't, because uh, this I added black, so this is just a normal color we've been, but uh, I still have got a lot of that paint, so I'm just going to add a little bit of white to it, I'll lighten it back up, go over some of the parts. Uh, Alright, so now I've got all of the gray here also painted for all the inner parts, and unfortunately I think the black pre-shading is not really noticeable at all, unfortunately. I don't know, maybe later once it's got like top coat on and everything else is done, you might be able to notice that a little bit, but I think for the most part, I think a lot of that disappeared. And I don't know if that's maybe because uh, I didn't use just regular paint, I did use like surfacer paint, so like maybe it's a little bit uh, more like robust in that like it's going to cover up pretty much everything underneath it more than just regular paint would or I don't know I need to figure it out anyway like I said this is the first time I'm be doing this so unfortunately it's probably not going to work as well as I'd like but you know it's just a learning experience so that's it for the gray next thing I'm going to uh, switch to the mahogany and do the pre-shading on the green and red parts